I'm currently programming a game about the German TikToker Herr Anwalt. It's a pixel art action combat platformer where you have to defeat teachers. Yes! But of course, it's not just for fun. It's based on a very logical and coherent story. Mr. Lawyer gets a call for help from a kid. The teachers won't let the students out of school anymore. And being a badass attorney, he takes the law into his own hands to save the students. Once he arrives at the school, he meets the evil principal. He has the nasty master plan to keep the students in school forever so they keep learning. Sounds great. And because he has crazy superpower-like skills, he sends Mr. Lawyer back to the classroom. First lesson is a physical education. <laughs> We all know that sports really sucks as the first lesson because then you have to run around sweaty for the rest of the school day. Evil! So now I have to draw and program the sports world. Let's go! I started by drawing some sport equipment and creating a prototype hall. It's uh, very ugly. Every German gym ever. But I can hardly leave it like that. So I made the whole thing prettier. I drew some new walls and windows and that's how the gym looks now. But it's stupid when you have a springboard that doesn't work. So I drew an animation for the board and now you can jump on it. Yeah. Luckily in Unity I can easily set the jumping height and you can use the spring. Okay, that's pretty cool. You know what else is cool? These ropes you can climb up. No? Okay, maybe we had different experiences in gym class. I always had fun. Either way, we really need a rope in the game. And here you have it. That doesn't look like a rope. I programmed it so you can climb it up. Whoa, that's unrealistic. And to make it nicer, I drew a climbing animation. Now you climb on the rope like a little monkey. More like a pole dancer. Then I had the crazy idea that the rope must swing. So I started by adding pixel art physics. Wunderschön. But that's not really a rope. More like a spring. To change this, I used Unity's spring physics to simulate a rope with a couple of points. Programmed a lot. I made the rope follow the animation. Physically, it's not that realistic. You Newton. More coding. Haha. <laughs> This almost looks like a rope. And in the end, it wasn't even that bad. We have a pretty good base to build cool levels. But I extended the moveset of Mr. Lawyer. So far he can jump and combine different attacks. But I haven't programmed an important move yet. Backflip! Yeah! Now, one last ability is missing. The wall slide. Uh, what? You don't recognize it? Uh, well, I gave it an animation. I love bugs! And if you can wall slide, you should also be able to wall jump. Now I can combine everything and build neat parkour levels. For the levels, we also need opponents who fit in the world of physical education. I already created the dodgeball sport teacher in the last part, but that's not enough. Time for new opponents. First, here's a baseball guy who hits you with his bat. It hurts, but Mr. Lawyer is also good at fighting. Uh, magic. Then there's a boxer who works on you with his fists but he looks terrible. I might need to revise him later. Let's try to make better opponents. I drew a soccer player who juggles with the ball and put him into the game. If you get too close to him, he shoots at you. And because he has only one ball, he uses his slide attack. Nope. Of course, it all worked right away. There are no bugs in my game. I'm a professional. But in the end, it became pretty cool. So far I have only male opponents. The 6.9% uh, nice. women who watch my videos need to be represented as well. That's why I drew a tennis player and I think she has the best animation so far. Yeah, well. As soon as you come too close, she attacks you with her tennis serve. And because you can hardly see the ball, I added a tray renderer. What makes the tennis player especially strong is that the balls can also bounce off walls. This can be really tricky in a longer fight. She can also attack you with her tennis record if you go too close. Good opponent. The second female opponent is a ballerina. She runs gracefully with her ballerina-like steps to you and then attacks you with a violent kick. But the most important thing is that the ballerina can do pirouettes. Now the ballerina can run towards you like a Beyblade. This attack hits you on another level and will destroy you. Nice. Together with some cool effects, I like the way the ballerina turned out and the enemy is done. Now all viewers should feel addressed by my game. What about the bots? Oh, hey, yeah, the bots that watch and comment my videos. How could I forget them? So I drew a tennis cannon and put it in the game. And it's really, really ugly. Next! Better. Now I just had to program it to always aim at you. Wow. By the way, that was so bad that the game crashed. But then I got it running and now the cannon not only aims at you, but can also shoot. 
By the way, I designed it in a way that it can not only stand on the floor, but also at the walls and ceilings. I hope all artificial intelligences watching this video are satisfied and and it spares me. Last but not least, I wanted to create a strong mini boss. And here I chose a giant basketball player. Looks already quite nice. Now he just needs some skills. First I let him bounce the ball and if you get hit you will be damaged. But that alone would be pretty lame. So he can also throw the ball in a way yeah. that it bounces off the walls. Not that easy to, to calculate them. the trajectory we need trigonometry. You know, the one with Pythagoras, Triangles and the Illuminati. Now the basketball player can shoot you in two different ways and the ball always flies back into his hands. That's pretty strong and you really have to be careful to not get caught by the ball. The only thing missing is the most violent attack from the basketball player. The slam dunk! For this I have drawn the most elaborate animation so far. That looks weird. I know, but if I put it in unity and let him jump and dunk, then it's getting better. Delay. It doesn't hit you at all! How about a blast wave? Okay, to make the basketball player stronger, I added some effects. When he bounces the ball, it creates a little pressure wave. This makes it much harder to attack him. And the slam dunk is even more violent, because it triggers shock waves that really hurt when they hit. I don't know if he is too strong for a mini boss. you can decide. Because you can now download Lawyer's Legacy on iOS and Android for free. Or buy the PC version on Steam. I will show you how I finished the beta version of the game in the next video. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel, like the video, climb a palm tree. Nice. See you then, bye!